zombie. But I'm afraid that you don't know I'm a zombie, so I write it out on this paper. <laughs> We don't talk much. This is public speaker, so I shouldn't be. Here. You have seen a trailer of my one of my films, uh, a horror film made in uh, uh, 2011, and now I should concentrate on my work here. Uh, I have uh, uh, introduced myself as a zombie because I will talk about the afterlife, whether it's a season or not. My topic is full, uh, full describe that uh, in, is it possible that afterlife exists? Okay, and you can hear me well, so maybe I put up uh, this uh, microphone. And uh, afterlife, before we know what is afterlife, we should have a look on my event uh, of uh, the speech today. Um, First of all, I will uh, tell you a little bit about definition and uh, classification. Uh, I actually I don't have much time, so uh, I uh, read uh, in three days and uh, shot out the information to make this presentation. And uh, then I will uh, talk about a little bit uh, with the, the origins of the afterlife, where it comes from the science aspect and the religion aspect. And last of all, uh, in here I will make some uh, proof, like mathematical proof, and uh, it leads to nonsense conclusion. Like uh, we cannot uh, uh, assume that whether the, the, um, the afterlife exists or not. So we shouldn't constrain on it. And uh, the most important thing is the pros and cons, which means advantage and disadvantage of the afterlife. Whether it exists, it will help us or not, and I will concentrate a little bit on this part. So let's move to the first part. Here is the definition from our Wikipedia, and you can see in philosophy, religion, mythology, and fiction, after life, blah blah blah. It's a really really long system. So I will um, comprise this for you. Uh, after life is a type of when you die, and your soul be still live. Uh, it's a little bit nonsense because we are following the science, but uh, by many effects, it's the stereotypes. And, and in here we have classification of afterlife. You know, it's a power word. Have you ever and different from and reborn? I will explain it clearly, step by step. Of course, uh, do you know heaven? Yes. 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 And you know hell? Yes. Okay, it is two types of power, uh, mostly uh, mentioned in the afterlife. And uh, by this presentation, I hope uh, after this, uh, I can consult you which way you will choose after you die. It's hard. And, uh, okay, and heaven and hell. Heaven uh, in many regions and um, uh, mythologies, we have uh, attached the symbol of presence of heaven is our angel. It's an angel with the wings and a uh, round circle on his, uh, his head. And uh, to achieve this heaven, people must uh, be good in their reality life and then they can go to heaven. Another type is the punishment of hell. In hell, it's the dark and fire are everywhere, and this is a place of punishment. And throughout several uh, um, several uh, regions, it's different. Uh, take an example with heaven. Uh, do you think that in uh, Buddha, uh, Buddhism, heaven is good? Do you imagine what they would do in heaven of uh, uh, Buddha, Buddhism? Actually, they sleep all the day and listen to the, um, the speak of the uh, Buddha and they eat nothing, they read nothing, just sleep and uh, listen to Buddha. Uh, do you want to follow this story after you die? Yes. Uh, okay, no. Uh, if I was you, I wish wouldn't you do it also. And uh, do you know what is the heaven of the Viking? 
five team people? Yes. After they die, the mighty warrior of Viking, if they die by a sword, they can have, go to heaven and they can have thousands of girls around him and all the wine bring to the end of the afterlife. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> I, I think this should go for our men. Okay, and hell is the punishment of all we are known and by the forms. We can really, uh, we can have our lives in other forms. Like uh, we can have a very remarkable by the sensory forms. The mummies. Uh, friend, uh, my friend is in here. It's cool. And uh, the gods. We can have ugly afterlife and uh, beautiful afterlife. Very cute. Uh, in password. It's some kind and more amongst it we have the black higher on the face. And after that is the reborn. The reborn born is the mostly mentioned in the Buddhism when a man dies and he will transform his soul into another creature. And this is called the reborn. And based on his uh, greatest in his uh, reality life, he will uh, reborn in another kind. For example, you are bad, you will born into a rat. Uh, if you're good, you can uh, be a human again. And uh, origin, I will take a brief uh, introduction about it. Uh, we all know that uh, this world is a mix, uh, is a mix of uh, material and non-material aspect and um, for example uh, we have a material here it's wood and um, actually inside it has some type, type of weight and since uh, Leonardo da Vinci they has to uh, try to uh, prove that his life is uh, afterlife is exists or not but until now by the um, recovery of uh, Bio, uh, biomagnetic uh, wave, uh, we cannot. Now, we cannot uh, ensure that the, the afterlife is or not. So, this is nonsense, right? So, why don't we take uh, another origin uh, from the um, religion? Do you know this symbol? Yes, actually, it's covered in the Indian flag. And uh, by this, it seems like uh, Buddhism is uh, uh, very strong. And uh, this symbol is the symbol of the life circle. Then you die. It has uh, 12, uh, 12 uh, steps here. This step is for, represent for um, a sense of human. And uh, when it comes into the symbol here, it has more. And it reminds us to live well, to don't commit crimes. Okay. And uh, here's the real life in, in Tibet. It's the, uh, it's um, it's uh, represent a lot of sin here, and uh, it reminds us not to live wrong. And uh, this is the Eastern uh, egg for the uh, Christians, uh, represent the reward of uh, Jesus. And uh, cross and con, of course, you know this uh, time cartoon and um, Tom had to sign um, to redemption. And uh, this is uh, the conclusion. Um, we have some statistics here. We have uh, Christians take 33% uh, of the world and all the reason here. If and all of them had to in afterlife at the moral lesson, uh, moral lesson. And if we don't have um, the afterlife. Uh, so the um, the re uh, religion, like the Christian and uh, Muslim, they will uh, commit crimes more uh, due to there's no uh, punishment for them. Uh, I kind of uh, rush because time run out of time. And, uh, okay. In conclusion, uh, we cannot. Uh, make sure that afterlife exists or not, but uh, if afterlife exists, this is a good uh, approach. Okay, thank you. I felt it was too much information. If you're going to use this much information, you need to very clearly connect with your main point. And I think you wanted to include a lot of information to show you did the research, 
and sometimes you focus too much on side points, and at least for myself, I got a little lost. What's your main idea? What are you trying to convince us? Why are you telling me this fact? So either focus on fewer facts, or be very careful to explain how each fact and each statistic connects to your point. But in your conclusion, you say that uh, unmarried couples tend to be poorer than married couples. So I wonder why.